Welcome to Appalachian Food Forest. As I promised, I'm going to show you guys today how I do my container gardening. So the first thing you have to do is, uh, if you're not a milk drinker, gather some milk jugs from your friends, or you can use spring water bottles, or you can use soda bottles if you drink soda. You can use the clear ones or the green ones. Um, don't use any dark colored ones, yellow ones. They have to be able to let the sunlight through. So gather a few of these. Um, and then get, get you some seeds that you want to plant. I've already done some tomatoes and peppers. Um, today I'm going to do a little comfrey, some coriander, and some onions. And I'll show you how to do those. Uh, you will need a pair of scissors or either a box cutter or a sharp knife because we're going to cut these in half. You'll need a marker and some labels. I like to label mine twice because the worst thing in the world is just to write on them with a Sharpie and then weather and rain and all that washes it off and you have no idea what's in there. So I like to stick one of these on the inside and label them on the outside as well. And you will need some duct tape. It can be the silver kind, black, whatever, but duct tape. Don't use masking tape or any other kind of tape because it will not hold. And then the soil that I use, you can use um, seed starter. I like to just use a little compost that we've made and then mix in a little perlite. That way it's kind of light and fluffy and it allows the roots to grow a little better. I don't recommend anything with like miracle Grow and all that because you basically want your seeds to sprout and you want to give them a little bit of nutrients, but you don't want to overdo them. So, so that's what you'll need to get started. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll start with this green one. Oh, and I forgot to mention, take your lids off because as you can see with these other ones, you want them, you can sit them, you know, in a raised bed, you can sit them in your flower bed, you can just sit them out in the yard, it doesn't matter, but you want to put them somewhere where they won't blow away and you want the rain and snow and stuff to go inside the little holes because once you do these, you won't have to do anything else until you see them, you know, filling up the container and then you'll just transplant them. And so let's get started cutting. So I just start with a little, a little snip first. Okay. The box blade, in my opinion, works a little better. Getting it started is the is the hard part. So then once you get that in there, you don't want to cut the whole top because you want to be able to flip it open and kind of keep it secure. So, so you see how I, I kind of left that little section because we're just going to open it up. We're going to put in our dirt and seeds and we're going to close it and tape it. So, um, so we got that first one ready. Then we'll go ahead and do this next one. I know y'all are thinking I'm going to cut my leg off with these things. Okay. So we're just going to do this little water jug next. And you can kind of play around with it so because basically you just want it to be able to open. So that one looks pretty good. And then we'll do this last one. See how it's a little easier if you poke that hole in the top? And then you're going to just put it around. And let's see if it opens. Nope, that one's not quite far enough. Okay, so there we go. So it opens and closes. All right, so next we're going to put in our little soil. So you're just going to flip that open and we're going to put a few scoops in. If you have limited availability of, of some soil like this. You don't have to put quite as much as I do, um, but I like to put it about halfway up to where you made your cut. The milk jugs don't stay open as easily as the, the soda jugs do. It's a little windy here today, but at least the sun is shining. Right, so we'll do these two first and then I'll do that other one later. So let's start with this one. So we have this one ready. This one we're gonna make, um, 
we're going to plant the coriander seeds. So I'm going to write coriander. And this one I'm actually going to stick inside the container. So if the one outside gets washed off, then we can tell by looking at the one on the inside. So then we're going to take our coriander seeds. I like to use Baker Seed Company. Um, I also use um, Southern Exposure Seeds. Um, Baker Creek is my, my favorite. I'm going to put a pretty good mini in here because when I transplant them out, I'm just going to open this up. You can either save your containers or you can just, you know, take them all out in the clump and cut the bottom off however you want to do it. So I'm just sprinkling these seeds in here pretty heavily. Then I'm just going to sprinkle just a little light coating of dirt. However big your seed is, that's how, how much dirt you want to sprinkle on top. So if you've got tiny seeds, you don't want to put four inches of dirt. Since coriander seeds are small, you just want to put a thin little layer. And so then I'm just going to close that up. Then we're going to get our duct tape. Get that started. The way I do it is I stick it onto this hoop. You can find whatever way to do your duct tape works the best for you. But after a while, you'll kind of be able to judge helicopter. You'll be able to judge how much duct tape you need. Pull that off of there. And so then you're just gonna hook it right where you made that little tear on the, on the thing. And then you're just gonna slowly wrap it around where the cut was in your bottle. So we sealed that. And then the last step, we're gonna write with a Sharpie on the outside, coriander. And I like to put the date. Today is April the 3rd. And so that way we'll know about when it should sprout because coriander takes about seven days. And so that one's completely done. And I'm just going to stack it right here by my others. And we're going to do the same thing with the milk container. Just put in our seeds and tape it. And I'll show you what one looks like that's already been growing. Can you see those in there? Those are little tomato plants. And those have been growing for about two to three weeks now. And so they'll just keep on growing and they'll fill up the container and they'll be ready to plant within a couple of weeks once the frost is over. And that's it for how to grow in a container. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like us and leave any comments or questions below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Thanks. So I forgot something very important and that's drain holes in your containers. So actually, I normally do this before I put the soil in, but since I forgot, um, so I'm just going to go in and you just want to make several little holes all around because you don't want it to get waterlogged and hold that water in there. So make sure you put plenty of little drain holes in the bottom of your containers. And I kind of put them on the sides as well because if it comes to heavy rain, you don't want everything floating up. So just, you know, poke several little holes in your container. So we got that one done and then on the milk jug one same thing just you know stick several little holes all the way around and in the bottom it's better to do this first so but since i forget anyway so that's what you need to do so that should be it thanks